I work at a biotech company, and I spend a lot of my day gloved up and wearing protective gear. That means it's really nice to have a hands-free device. I can use it to listen to music while I work. I can use it to check on the weather. I can even use it to order my lunch. But I can also use it for J.D. Edwards functionality. Let's say that we have a minor spill. It's nothing too serious, no one's really hurt, but we still need to get it into the system right away for OSHA compliance. Here's something we can do using our J.D. Edwards virtual assistant. Alexa, tell J.D. Edwards I need to end our health and safety incident. Briefly describe what happened. There's a small chemical spill. Were there any injuries or illnesses? Yes. Was there any environmental impact? No. What is your name? Mike Rogers. What was your role in the incident? Victim. Briefly describe your injury or illness. Minor acid burns to my left arm. Was anyone else involved? Yes. What is the name of the next person you want to add? Sarah Smith. What was the role of Sarah Smith in the incident? Witness. Was anyone else involved? No. What was the location of the incident? Third floor chem lab. The incident has been added as incident number 152. Would you like me to read back what I entered? Yes. Incident number 152. The description is as follows. There's a small chemicals bill. Injury occurred equals true. Environmental impact equals false. The following individuals are listed on the incident. Person number one, Mike Rogers, victim. Injury is minor acid burns to my left arm. Person number two, Sarah Smith, witness. The location of the incident is third floor candle app. You may modify this incident further from within Enterprise One. Goodbye. And there we have it. We've got the key details in there. Some of the voice recognition may not have been perfect, but the important thing is it's entered in there. We can change it as we need to, and we're compliant. Alexa, tell J.D. Edwards I need to enter another health and safety incident. Thanks to our virtual assistant, we were able to get this incident entered in mere moments after it happened. Now let's take a look at it in the system and see if there are any corrections we need to make or just more details that we want to add. All right, here we have it. There's a small chemical spill. So chemicals bill, pretty close. We certainly can tell what we meant. And we have it, that it happened on Wednesday, March 4th. It automatically took the current time. And we have it's an injury illness, but there's no environmental impact. Let's take a closer look. All right, let's change this from there's a small chemicals bill to there's a small chemical spill. All right, uh, we can go ahead and mark it as low severity. In here, we have injury illness checked. Uh, that's all that we need for that. Let's check the location. All right, we said that it was on the third floor chem lab. It got camel app, so we can correct that pretty easily. And also, let's go ahead and take a look at the people tab. All right, we have Mike Rogers and Sarah Smith. Those are the right people. Alexa doesn't know that I spell my name with a D in it, so I can correct that. Uh, have that I was injured with minor acid burns to my left arm. That's all correct. And then both of us are employees. We can check that. And that's pretty much all we have to do. We can save our incident and or make any other changes if we needed to. Whether it's adding a health and safety incident or logging materials and hours used on a work order, a virtual assistant can be a great way to help with hands-free data entry, at least if you're willing to do a tiny bit of touch-up back at the office.